Peter of Inquiry here from CXG. Um, we have a very inter uh, interesting video coming up because we've invited the Minister for Skills and Enterprise, Matthew Hancock, here to talk about um, what's becoming a bit of a, a, a political hot potato, which is uh, regulation of the uh, sector that obviously everybody knows that I'm involved in, in housing. So, hello Matthew. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you for coming along. Um, a lot of um, uh, MPs and ministers, I don't think they realise the power of social media. So, it's really nice that you've come along today to do some YouTube videos. We've got some very good contacts, um, so we'll be releasing them afterwards. Yep. Um, but, um, well, first of all, I'm going to ask the first question. We'll get started. So, um, why do you think that the Labour Party has made um, regulation of the um, private rent sector, they've made it become quite a, a political hot potato. Um, and, and where's that come from? Why do you think that they're um, bringing that initiative out? Well, I don't know what their motive is. I think the, sen the most important thing is to have a sensible regulatory framework. We've got to get the regulations right. I actually think there's less politics in it than meets the eye, because the he all the headlines um, that we're going to have rent controls and uh, the, actually, when the Labour Party were pushed on them, their policy position wasn't for strict rent controls. It was much more nuanced than that um, and actually quite close to changes that we proposed. So I think there's less politics in here than meets the eye. The important thing is to have a decent regulatory structure for the private rented sector. Yeah, I mean, the frustration we have um, um, coming from the industry yeah. is that um, there's lots of voluntary regulatory bodies which we feel maybe the government could make mandatory. Yeah. To, well, NAUS uh, is one very good example. I um, yeah. closed the conference there. Yeah. Um, and to me, um, Labour have moved the agenda onto things that are not so much of a problem and yeah. they haven't focused on what is a problem. Yeah. Um, so, for example, they've suggested longer tenancies are an issue, uh, an, an issue, but many landlords would actually happily like longer tenancies because yeah. it gives them security as well as the tenants. Yeah. But the problem is, and I don't think the Labour Party have understood that, is a lot of mortgage companies will not lend if there are longer tenancies right. on a house. Right. So again, how did how, right. have they not done their research? Did they not understand that? Or have they just come out with something and not really looked at it? Well, I think you know, a lot of the proposals coming out of the Labour Party fall apart when you examine them. And this one, you know, the headlines weren't justified by what they were saying. Um, what we've got to focus on is making sure that the sector works and is well regulated. And you've made the case to me about the need for uh, uh, safeguards, for instance, to make sure that clients' cash is looked after properly and having a, uh, a, a regulated sector. Um, I've taken these up with the housing minister and we'll see where we get. 